So I'm gonna talk about bond duration. Uh, I'm gonna show you. This is called Macaulay duration. I'm gonna show you how to calculate. So basically, there's two ways to calculate. One way is you use the cash flow, like here. The other, you can use this formula. So both of the uh two methods, they will give you the exactly the same answer. So it's kind of acting, you know, you check the uh check check your work, double check your work, see if your work your answer get the same. So that's a good thing. Okay, let's look at this example. Say a two year, three percent uh bonds with the semi annual interest payment. The year to maturity is four percent, and the market price of the bonds is nine hundred eighty dollar. Uh, and ninety cents. So, okay. So basically, that give you this information. We can convert here. Is maturity is two year, coupon rate is three percent, par value is one thousand dollar. The year to maturity is four percent. So because they are semi annually uh payment, so we know the each payment period we total have a four uh. Uh, peer uh payment period, then there uh the uh coupon rate uh the coupon rate of the each period is uh one point five percent is three percent divided by two, so the par value stays the same. Then the um then the yield to maturity uh is two percent uh for the each period, so. Uh, basically, if you want to discount the uh discount the cash flow to the present, so you use this two percent. So let's just quickly to understand that this cash flow means. So I have two years. So each six months, I will reach reach the uh coupon payment is fifteen dollar. So I have a four fifteen dollar coupon payment. At the end of the two year, I will receive a、uh, one thousand dollar the par value back as well. So the for the、uh, end of the two year, I have one thousand and fifteen dollar this、uh, payment. So once I have this cash flow, so if I want to find the present value of the each cash flow, so I just have to discount those each cash. Uh, each cash flow, uh, to the present. So first cash flow, I discount at a a one period is one plus, uh, two percent to the one's power. The second cash flow, I di uh, discount uh in two period, right? Uh, so on and so forth. You get this. So all this cash flow, you did discount to the present. You add them together, you get the present value. With the present value also equal to the price of the bonds. So you can see here the price of the bonds is nine hundred eighty and ninety cents. Uh, so then you um, you understand this cash flow or、uh, how that works. So then now we consider the duration. Well, this total maturity is two year, but each cash flow that mature at um you know you receive the payment at a different period. So our、uh, first cash flow we receive in six months, we convert to a year is point five year. The second one is one year. Uh, the third one is one point five year. The fourth is two year. So once we understand this cash flow. So we can put all the information here. The first is time until payment, which is exactly that's the period. Um,、uh, the uh, you know, we receive the payment, right? Is six months, two months, um,、uh, one year, one point five year, two year. So then the coupon payment. So basically, doing this, what we receive. So we receive this coupon payment at the end of the year too. We receive one thousand, the par value plus the coupon payment is one thousand and fifteen. So discount factor. So discount factor, uh, just is 
we discount let like they here. We discount the first one is one plus two percent to the one's power. So it's exactly we discount. That's how the discount factor is. So I basically uh calculated this. So if you can look at the formula is uh the formula is one one plus two percent to z the this power of this, so then you get discount factor. Yes, so you get all the discount factors. So then, uh, we payment discount. So now we want to discount those coupon to the present, right? So we, this one, uh, we, uh, fifteen dollar. We times this discount factor, we get this uh payment discount. So you get all the uh present value. Basically, you you discount it to the present. So this is all the present value. You can see here is all this number. Then you add them together, so you get the uh total present value, which is the price of the bonds. So. Now we we want to know we understand this is all the present value. How important all this present value, right? If they're tiny, so it's no big deal. But if they are big, so uh, we want to uh, you know pay more attention to it. So um so we want to wait the each uh you know payment uh the the discounted payment. So we basically use the each discounted payment divided by the total of this, uh, present value, which is the price of the bonds, so you get the weight, you get the weight of the uh discounted cash flow, so discounted the cash flow. So once you have you basically that tell you how important all this cash flow is. Now we have all the weight. Then we want to know the time to the payment, right? This is a time until the payment. So we simply time this time until payment then to the weight. So then we get our time weighted. So this is basically how you get this. Then you add them together. This is the duration. This is how we uh understand the duration. The duration basically is the weighted of the each time until the payment, so that's how you get the duration. Okay, and、uh, then this is use the cash flow method to do that. So you also can um you know can use this formula to do it. Use the formula we uh exactly use the uh same thing. Y here is. Uh, y here is equal to uh two percent. Is it equal to two percent? Then the C is equal to one point five because it's semi annual. You have to do this. Then T is equal to four. Then you plug everything in in the formula. So basically, um, here is all the formulas. So you can see. I mean, it's one plus two percent, then divided by two percent. Here is exactly the same. So what I'm doing is okay. So here is you can see all the formula here. Basically, one plus one plus two percent. One plus two percent, then is then your T is four times uh four times C one point five percent minus two percent. So that's how you get it. So just understand that because this is a semi annual, even they say Y is me uh you know maturity yield to maturity per period. See this is a per period. So you have to if it's semi annual, you should use it semi annual the uh, uh the number here. So when you get it, this formula, when you plug all the number here, 
Then your formula will give you answer. This is three point nine one one two percent. Two. Um. Then this formula give you is for the um、uh, for the semi annual. Ah,、uh, period. Basically, the formula was saying this is this is four. So if you want to get the annual uh duration, annual duration, you have to divide by two. Use this one. This number three point nine one one two. You have to divide by two. Then you get the duration of the uh annual. So this is just a. Very be careful when you all the number is here, ah,、uh, is semi annual. So your formula will give you answer is semi annual answer duration. Then you have to ah、uh, divide by two. Then in order to get the duration is, ah,、uh, is the annual. So you can see this duration number is exactly the same. Okay, so that's that's basically that's a very simple. Ah,、uh, duration is the Macaulay duration. So we somehow we have another is modified ah、uh, duration. So th- this is the formula. Basically, is Macaulay duration divided by one plus y. You have to see y is equal to current yield to maturity divided by the coupon payment per year. So I basically ah、uh, use this one. This number divided by one plus, um, four percent divided by four, so I get this modified uh duration. So you will understand because you divide something a little bigger than one, so modified duration is always less than the, uh, Macaulay duration. So you can see it's one point nine three six two. So this one one point nine five five six. So that's how you get the ah、uh, the bounce duration.